And then you ask them, but then tell me, who is Jesus? And they'll reply, well, Jesus is the Son of God. Then you can say to them, if you know Scripture, if you met him, you saw him, and you say he is the Son of God, well, they knew must be God. They will be startled, shocked, and think that you are blaspheming. And yet we are told that no one knows the Son except the Father. Well, if they know him, and they are met him, they must be the Father. If they met him, and they claim they met him, well then, they must be God the Father. I can tell you, you can say right into their face, you are a liar. Some brain hallucination, because you cannot meet him from without. When you know God, you know him through his Son. And you want me to know him through Jesus. Jesus is the Father. And David is the son. When you meet David, you know that he is your son. And because he is God's son, then you know who you are. And there is no other way to know God. It's the only way. It comes in unique and unpredictable ways, the entire story of Scripture. So the former things I declared of old, they went forth from my mouth, and I made them known. Then suddenly I acted, and they came to pass. Read it in the 40th chapter of Isaiah. And the word Isaiah simply means Jehovah saves. It's the same meaning of the word Jesus. The same meaning of the word Jehovah. Jehovah is salvation. Jesus means Jehovah is salvation. The word Jesus and Jehovah are interchangeable terms. No one can say Jesus is law except by the Holy Spirit. And who is the Holy Spirit? The Remembrancer. He will bring to your remembrance all that I have said unto you. So when it comes, then all of a sudden it awakens within you. He told you what he will do. He is going to give himself to you. It is his purpose in life, his intention, to give himself to all of us. But to each of us, not collectively, but to each of us. He comes to us individually. And when he comes, he isn't coming from without. He is coming from within. For he is buried within. And he rises within. So here now we are facing a day, two weeks from today, I think it is, when they all celebrate, I shouldn't use the word celebrate because they'll be very sad about the day, because they do not know the day. It's called crucifixion. And they will simply remember the day. What day? 2,000 years ago? No. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world. And one man fell and became fragmented into unnumbered beings, all sons. And then comes the great affliction, the great tribulation of human experience. And then he calls us back one by one. But when we return, we are the one who fell, who is God the Father.